everyone. Welcome to Sew and Share. So today I thought I would be doing something a little different. I thought I'd be talking about my little, I don't know, like sewing journey with my machines. So like every machine that I have used um, through my sewing journey, um, which began a very long time ago, so first, I want to say, like, I started, I should say, I started getting interested in sewing at, like, eight years old. Um, I remember my mom would sew. So she would make clothes for us, and I remember watching her and just thinking, wow, that just looks like so much fun. And I was so intrigued I guess like how she could take fabric and it would turn into clothes and it just looked so fun to me um, and I was so interested in it and I would so like sometimes she would take me by the machine and then she would just kind of show me how to sew a seam for a little bit and stuff and I did like hand sewing when I was eight years old um, I did hand embroidery, I did um, stamped cross stitch, I think, um, things like that, and I really enjoyed it. But every time I would watch mom sew, it was just like, you know, just something I was very interested in. So I remember this is the machine, this, was, this is what my mom um, sewed on. Um, and I remember just sitting there watching her use this machine um, this is not her machine. This is, I would say last year I was at a, a estate sale, me and my kids, and I walked into the room and I saw this and it just so reminded me of mom um, and my beginning sewing because this is what I first started sewing on. Um, so reminded me of her sitting there sewing that I had to get it and it was it was only $25 it wasn't even that much money I'm like and it works so nice it is so nice I love it um but yeah so I you know like I said I just kind of she would take me by the machine once in a while not a whole lot um and then when I was 13 that is when I started home ac because, and of course, back then, um, it was required that you take home ac so you have a semester of sewing and a semester of um, cooking. And that was it. When I was in seventh grade, um, then I really got to use the machines and really got to learn about sewing. I was like, that was it. Ever since then, it's just been something that I just love. Um, so, yeah, I would sit there and I mean I don't remember too much in the beginning years of I remember loving it I don't remember if we made garments in the beginning years I think it was like maybe ninth grade maybe eighth grade we started on garments that I can't remember too much I seriously can't remember too much of what I made in my beginning years other than my um a tote bag but yeah, but I loved it. And so I remember like sewing at this machine a lot too, because my mom, when I started sewing, she would let me use this. Yeah. So I've already been sewing for a couple years now. Um, since 13, I was 15, when I decided that I really wanted to have my own sewing machine. So I saved up money. I was babysitting. So I saved up money and I went over to Sears and I bought um, a Kenmore. So it kind of was like this. This isn't the exact machine again, but I just found this machine. I paid like $10 for it and it's really nice. I mean, it's amazing how these old machines so um, they, they just like thick, thick fabrics, they will just slide right through like no problem at all. I mean, it's just like sewing any other fabric. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, so 
I went, I purchased this machine. This is like the model that I bought. And <clears throat> I was so happy. I was so excited to have my own machine. Um, so I start, you know, sewing on it and stuff. And I, you know, these machines are a little trickier. Like you have to have them go around the tension and they have a little more issues, I think, maybe than some of the newer machines. But I wasn't really, I think a lot of the problems that were because I wasn't using it correctly, I don't know. But I would get so mad because it would not up at the bobbin or the bobbin would get all weird and then, or the tension would be off and then I'd have to mess with that and I would get frustrated. It didn't happen all the time, but I think the reason that I would get so frustrated is because I would go to school and I took home ec um, and sewing every year from the time that I could till I graduated because I loved it that much and they had Vikings there. And I remember, now I don't remember what other sewing machines they had in Home Ec, but I remember the Vikings because I loved them so much. When I would go to the other machines, there'd be issues and problems. And every time I got a Viking and sewed on a Viking, I never had an issue. They always sewed so nice. You'd just get there, they'd sew, no problem, you were done. And that was kind of nice because, well, you only, you know, the class period was only so long. And I looked so forward to it that I just wanted to sew the whole time I was there. And sometimes, you know, if you had questions or were, didn't understand what you were doing, I remember the teacher like being at her desk and then there'd be a line because people would go up there. We'd all go up there if we had a problem and then she'd tell us what to do. So like sometimes that would take, gosh, half the class just waiting to get help when you were stuck. So the last thing that I wanted to do is have issues with the machine too, because then I would never get any sewing done. So I always, always tried to get the Vikings and I love them so much. So then when I would go home and sew on my Kenmore and there'd be issues, I remember like, oh, just thinking one day I kept telling my mom, one day I'm going to have a Viking, you know, I'm going to get a Viking. And so anyway, but I still loved my machine. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was great. I loved it. It didn't always give me problems. It was just because I was so used to sewing on a Viking in the day that I loved it so much. But um, I was so happy to have my own machine and I loved it and when I was I don't know I think it was in 1983 I was either 18 or 19 one of the two um, my parents had given us money me and my sister and they said this is yours you know you can do what you want with it um, if you want to put it toward a car you can put it toward a car if you want to you know whatever we wanted to do we could do well I was sewing a lot because I loved it so much that I told my mom that I wanted to get a Viking sewing machine and she said that you know that's fine it's your money so we went and we were looking around and at that time in the early 80s, I think maybe, I think this was, but like just the computerized sewing machines were just coming around. They were really new. Um, and I remember seeing the Viking and just loving it. Just thinking that was so cool. Just pushing a button and um, the tension was set. And I mean, I just loved it. And all the things that it could do was just amazing to me. So I ended up, I really, I ended up spending a thousand. I spent all my money on it, the thousand dollars that they had given me. Um, but it was worth every penny because this is a machine. And I don't know if you can see it. It was a Viking 980. But if you can see it, I hope I might try to put up a picture. But like right here, this right here. They had little cards, like they were little plastic things and you on the bottom there, they would just pop out. And then you'd pop them out 
and then like this one just has fancy stitches on it some had like the medium weight um you know what kind of fabric you were sewing on and what stitch length and all that you'd press all that on them little cards I and mean, they would just pop out and then when you wanted to switch like if you wanted to go to the special um you know stitches and you would put that one in and you'd pop the red lights to where you'd want it to go it was really i mean i really liked it and then that's where your stitch length and all that showed up um but anyway this machine never gave me any problems every time i went to sew on that machine i just went and i sewed there was nothing nothing never did i have an issue with that machine um and i had it for 20 25 years i think because in 2008 that's when I went to sew and it just died one day. It wouldn't turn on. I mean, nothing. There was nothing there. So then I took it in and they said, uh, it's, it's done for. Um, yeah, it's gone. So that was really sad. I mean, that machine always sold perfectly. So then after the machine died, I was like, oh, I was so, you know. I'm happy because I really loved that machine and I really wanted another Viking, but I was like, oh man, to spend that much money on a machine when I know that no matter, and not to dish any other machines, I mean, it's just who I am and what I'm used to, but I know that no matter what machine I would have gotten, I would have been comparing it to my biking so I would never have been happy but anyway so my husband was so sweet and he said just go he's like you can you know just go get the viking um if that's a machine you want you know we can do it so went and I ended up getting the sapphire um I think it's at 8 30 I think that's what it is. But anyway, the sapphire. And what I really liked, well, I liked a lot of things about it, but I loved how long the throw it was because, um, you know, it said for quilting, like then you have a lot of extra space to put for your quilts. But I thought even, even in garment sewing, that's nice. So it's just, just so extra long that I really liked that. Um, you know, I love the automatic tension where you just set what fabric you want to sew on. If you're sewing on lightweight, whatever, you know, and then it just takes care of everything. This machine, it is 10 years old now and it gets used constantly. It's just such a good machine. So, like, I did have um, issues, but, I mean, for getting used as much as it did. Like, the belt, I had to replace the belt on it already. And I also had to replace the, whatever you want to call it, the foot pedal on it already. So this is my main, you know, go-to machine because I love it. Now it's getting, you know, like sometimes when I sew, especially on lighter weight fabrics, the bobbin gets a little loose and the tension isn't really that great on it. So I think I just, you know, it's been a while since it was taken in and, cleaned so I think it just needs a good cleaning and check over but it's just been wonderful and knock on wood that it lasts <laughs> it lasts for a while who knows them are my sewing machines that I have used from the time that I started until now <laughs> and um I don't know I thought maybe you'd want to see but I do have vintage machines um other than the ones that you've seen the white and the Kenmore but yeah, so if you want me to show you them, I could show you them also. Um, but yeah, and then also, I didn't get into my sergers. I have a couple sergers too. I have like a serger that I bought in the 80s when um, they were first coming out. I still have that. Um, and then I thought, I don't know yet, but I was thinking I still have like patterns or 
you know, I've seen a few patterns at thrift stores of things that I remember sewing and things that I sewed. And I have pictures of me in, and my kids and whatever I sewed, like some of the things that I sewed through the years. Um, if you guys wanted to see that, maybe I could get that together. Um, remember, they weren't, these pictures weren't shot, like I wasn't posing to show my outfit. They were just what I was doing when somebody took a picture of me or, you know, when I took a picture of my kids. So, you know, and it was the day before digital. <laughs> So the pictures aren't that great. I mean, back then, you know, you just took a picture and you couldn't see it. Sometimes they turned out, sometimes they didn't. So the pictures might not be of greatest quality either. But I thought maybe that would be kind of fun. But just let me know what you think about that below. And I'll see about that. You can see some of the things. Maybe if the pictures look okay. Um, some of the things that I made in the past. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, really appreciate every one of you. Um, if you are not already a subscriber and would like to see more sewing related videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Other than that, have a great week. Thanks. Bye.